well. Well, in every district in the state, there are parents who just can't afford to buy new clothing for their children. But one teacher in New Pal realized this and decided to help the families. Alyssa Raymond shares how she and her husband are making a difference. Oh, the sound of an elementary school first thing in the morning. Happy and carefree. As little colorful feet hit the hallways, you really can't tell from here the struggle some students face at New Palestine Elementary School. We have some students who come with up to us with nothing. So they don't have clothes, they don't have a backpack or school supplies, and we're not okay with that. First grade teacher Stacy Bancroft saw the need and talked to her husband Kip about the possibility of filling a closet for every child. We launched Stacy Sharing Closet. Together with the help of their two grown kids. This was our empty nest, yes. They transformed an old broom closet off of the cafeteria into a place where parents can shop with their kids for free. We've helped so far 35 families, 70 children have given out almost 700 pieces of clothing. It gives you all the feels. Stacy's first sharing closet opened its doors last January. Since then, they created two more, one at Sugar Creek Elementary and another one at New Pal Junior High. You want to fill your time with meaningful things, and this has been just very meaningful for us. It's just been a labor of true love. Yeah. It really has. Believe it or not, nearly 50 students in Southern Hancock County Schools are homeless. Out of the 3,700 students in the district, 840 qualify for free or reduced meals. That's just about 23%. Stacy and Kip know kids are in need everywhere, so you don't have to go to these schools to actually take advantage of this. They have yet to turn any kid away. Do they have plans for more of these? Yes, they really hope to have one of these sharing closets in every school in the district. And then I also just talked to them last night, and they said that they've been contacted about possibly opening one in Knightstown. Oh, great. Too. That would be wonderful. Of course, we here at WTHR are proud to partner with the Salvation Army for Coats for Kids. And this is kind of taking that concept, but extending it throughout the whole year, Alyssa, for boys and girls and giving them outfits. I think it's something that might not necessarily be top of mind, and that's why I'm so glad they're doing this, to just remind us that there are others in need right around us. Yeah, and it's a dignified shopping experience. Experience, yeah, they call right. it because there's tags on them. They have the hangers. Oh. They're, uh, you know, divided up by yeah. size. It's mm -hmm. just a great little That's shopping awesome. experience. Thank you. Good on them. Empty nesters. They said, hey, we can give back. Yes. So you too could do something mm -hmm. similar. Thank you so much, Alyssa. Let's talk.